Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to study lab program 11. Write a program to check whether an input number is a palindrome or not. Here, palindrome means even after reversing the number, if the entered number is same as that of the reversed number, then such number is called palindrome number. Let us begin with the variable called n of type integer. And here, we will ask the user to enter the number in input statement. In a double quotation mark, I will ask the user to enter the number. End the double quotation mark and close the brackets. Now, I am going to store this original value in another variable called temporary variable. So, temp is equal to n. So, whatever number you are going to enter, that number will be stored in variable n and n value is again further equated to temp in order to keep the original value intact. After manipulation, it will get changed. Hence, it has to be kept in a separate variable so that at the end, we can compare the reversed number with the original number. Now, let us take another variable called rev that is reverse and equate with value 0. Why to equate with value 0? Because whenever we declare any variable, that will occupy certain amount of memory space or it is going to point to a particular memory location that could consisting of any value which is previously executed by the program which is not required for this particular program hence we have reset it to zero now let us check out the condition here i'm going to use while iterative statement while n is greater than zero and colon as per the syntax of while iterative statement and after writing while in order to execute certain set of statements within this particular while statement we have to form a block by giving indentation space that is tab space or simply you can give the space here i'm going to write a variable called digit otherwise you can write remainder is equal to n modular division by 10 so this gives me the remainder now I'm going to use the variable called rev reverse is equal to reverse into 10 plus digit. Next the third statement I'm going to write n is equal to n double forward slash that is floor division by 10. This gives me the quotient. Now after checking out this condition if this condition is true then these three statements will get executed repeatedly once this condition is false the control comes out of the iterative statement and it is going to execute the next statement here i'm going to write uh, if temp is equal to so temp is holding the original value so temp double equal to will compare the values that is left hand side value is equal to right hand side value or not so temp is equal to rev and then colon so as per the syntax of if a statement we have to put colon now after indentation space i'm going to write print and here in a double quotation mark i'm going to write it is a palindrome in the double quotation mark and close the bracket so else is to be aligned with this if else then you need to put colon as per the syntax then give the indentation space for print statement print and in a double quotation mark i'm going to write it is not a palindrome end the double quotation mark and close the bracket now let us check out the result here i'm going to write output and we are going to execute this particular program twice let me write the first execution called run one once we execute this program, it will ask the user to enter the number. Here, I'll write enter the number. For example, I'm going to enter 121. Now, you can observe here, we have got temp is equal to n. So, temp is a temporary variable equated with value n. So, n is holding what? 121. 121 is equated to the temporary variable. So, reverse is equal to 0. And now we'll check out the condition. Here I'm going to check out the condition while n is what? n is 121. 121 is greater than 0. 
yes condition is true if this condition is true then these three set of statements will get executed here i am going to write digit is equal to n is 121 modular division by 10 this gives me the remainder so 10 ones are 10 twelves are 1 is the remainder so 1 is equated to the variable called digit next statement that is rev reverse is equal to reverse for the first time it is 0 so 0 into 10 plus digit digit is 1 so this gives me what so as per bod mas rule it is as it has to be multiplied first 0 into 10 is 0 0 plus 1 it will become 1 now we will go for n is equal to n floor division by 10 so n is equal to n is 121 floor division by 10 so this always gives me quotient 10 ones are 10 twelves are so e is equal to 12 so 12 is equated to variable called n here this completes the first iteration now the control transfers to while statement once again it is going to check out the condition so here i am going to write while so n is greater than 0 so what is the value of n here 12 so 12 is greater than 0 yes condition is true once this condition is true then these three statements will get executed here i am going to write digit is equal to now n value is what 12 so here i am going to write 12 modular division by 10 this gives me the remainder so which is 2 now the second statement rev is equal to rev now rev is what 1 in the previous iterative statement 1 into 10 plus digit is what 2 so is equal to so 1 tens are 10 10 plus 2 it will become 12 next third statement n is equal to n is 12 floor division by 10 so this gives me the quotient 10 ones are 10 ones are so here 1 is equated with variable n here second iterative statement is over once again control transfers to while loop here i'm going to write while n is greater than 0 what is the value of n whether 1 is greater than 0 yes condition is true if this condition is true then again these three set of statements will get executed here i'm going to write digit is equal to n value is what it is 1 modular division by 10 is equal to as per basic mathematical rule it says when the numerator is less than denominator then the numerator is acting as a remainder and quotient will become zero so here modular division gives me remainder hence one is equated to the variable called digit now the next statement is rev so here rev is equal to rev in the previous iteration it was 12 into 10 plus now digit is 1 now simplify 12 tens are 120 plus 1 it will become 121 so now we will write n is equal to what is the value of n now 1 floor division by 10 so this gives me the quotient as per basic mathematical rule it says that when the numerator is less than denominator then the numerator is acting as a remainder and quotient will become zero whenever we use floor division it gives me the quotient hence it will become zero so here the third iteration is over once again control transfers to while and now it is going to check out the condition while n is greater than 0 so what is the value of n here 0 0 is greater than 0 no condition is false if this condition is false then control directly comes out of this iterative statement and it is going to execute the next statement here we have got the selection statement if so if temp is equal to rev what is the value of temp temp is holding 121 here we are going to check out if temp is equal to rev so here temp value is 121 is equal to rev you can find out at the end of the third iteration it is also 121 so is 121 equal to 121 yes condition is true if this condition is true 
then it is a palindrome will be printed so it is going to print it is a palindrome now once again we are going to execute this program and we call it as run to at this time it will ask the user to enter the number now i am going to enter 123 so what will be the reverse of this 123 it will become 3 to 1 it will become 321 is 123 equal to 321 no condition is false if this condition is false then control directly jumps to the else part then it is going to print it is not a palindrome now let us execute this program and check out the output now we have come to vs code let us click on a new file and here i am going to type lab11.py is the extension and press enter here you can observe we have come to lab11.py file let us write n is equal to int and inside of the round bracket i'm going to type input then i'm going to write in a double quotation mark i'll ask the user to enter the number now i'm going to fast forward this part of the video so that we can save our time Now it's uh, time to save this file by pressing Ctrl S and let us execute this uh, program. Click on run, click on start debugging, click on python debugger, click on python file, debug the currently active python file. Now you can observe it is executing, you can observe at the bottom of the screen. Here it is asking the user to enter the number. For example, I'm going to enter 121 and press enter. Here you can observe it is displaying it is a palindrome this is the first run so once again execute this particular program click on run click on start debugging now once again it is asking the user to enter the number this time i'm going to enter 123 and i'll press enter so here it is displaying it is not a palindrome I hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood and if you want to check out this program along with the flowchart then the link is given in the description below thank you so much for watching this video till the end and we'll see you in the next video